welcome to the lecture series of theory of computation and now today we are going to see the example of again deterministic finite automata the next category of example so the examples are design here we have to design a dfa for set of all the string over a 0 comma 1 that is binary alphabet such that strings are ending in either a b or b a so we have already gone through the categories of example like ending with starting with and substring so here again the category comes ending with but now we have to consider it for uh, two uh, things either it can be ending with AB or it can be ending with BA. So initially uh, that we have to write down the definition which is containing the five tuples definition of DFA and then we are going to complete it once our DFA is ready. So let's start uh, drawing the DFA. So uh, we are considering the minimum possible string always while we are drawing the DFA so that we can come to know whatever the minimum possible number of states our DFA can have. So if I say the example either AB means my string is either ending with AB. So before AB any combination of A's and B's are accepted. And if I say that the string is ending with BA. So any combination of before the BA is acceptable. So these two things are there that we have to uh, follow at the uh, same time. Simultaneously we have to take care of both ending states. So we'll start with the initial state Q0 for example. So uh, one path will go towards the string ending with AB and another path will move towards the string ending with BA. So let's say Q, uh, Q0, Q1 and Q2. These are the states and Q2 is my final state which will be standing for string ending with AB. So if I think for the minimum possible string that is ending with uh, AB, then the string AB itself a minimum possible string. So here I have taken the string AB which is on state Q2. So we can say the Q2 is a state which is for ending with AB. The same way we have to go for the another path where the strings are ending with BA. So if I am saying that Q0 if it is gets A it is moving to Q1 but instead of A if it is gets another uh, pa parameters or a symbol that is B then we have to move here. So here our string should be A and B instead of 0, 1. The, uh, our uh, alphabet should be A and B. So if string is getting B, then we have to move towards the next state that is Q3. And at Q3, again, if we are getting A, then we'll move toward the next state Q4, which will be my final state and which uh, stands here for ending with BA. And now we have to think uh, regarding the other possibilities at uh, each and every state. So if I check for Q0, Q0 is already done with A and B. So both input possibilities A and B uh, is completed. Now for a Q1, if it's gate B, then it is moving to Q2. But what will happen if instead of B, Q1 is getting A? So very first we have to think that how we are coming to Q1. We are coming to Q1 by assuming A. So A is there. And now instead of B, if again we are getting the A. So what is the requirement? Next, the string should be ended with AB. So from where we are getting the B, we are getting it from Q1 itself. So we have to remain in a self loop with A so that the string will get with A, end with A, B. So the, now Q1 is done with both A and B. Same way we have to think for a Q3 as well. So let's have a check on Q3, how we are coming to Q3 by taking B. After that, if we are getting A, we are moving to Q4. But instead of A, if we are again getting B, then what will happen? We have to end with our string as a BA. We need to end our string as a BA. So that there will be a requirement of A. Then which is the state is responsible to generate the A and ending with the BA? The state Q3 itself. So there should be a self loop of B so that the string will uh, get end with BA. Now Q0, Q1 and Q3. All of them are done with both the inputs A and B. So now we have to just think about the final state. And here it is the need to think about the final set because our example is for ending in. If it stands for the substring or we can say it stands for the starting with, then simply there will be a self loop of A and B because anything after that is accepted. But here it will be not accepted because we have to strictly end it with either A, B or B, A. So now let's start uh, for a Q2. Uh, how we are coming to Q2 again, try to assume the minimum possible string. So I'm saying that from Q0 by taking A and B, I'm coming to Q2. After that, if I'm getting A, then what will happen? My string is ending with B, A. So if, if, if you can see, I'm coming to Q2 with A, B. And after that, if I'm getting A at a Q2, then my string is getting end with B, A. What I have to say, I have to move toward the end state which is ending with 
B A. So I will say if I get A here, then we are reaching to Q4 where the state which is responsible for ending with B A. Now again for a Q2, we have to check for another possibility that is nothing but uh, possibility of B. So let's uh, again check what will happen. So at Q2, we are coming with A B. By taking A B, we are coming to Q2. And after that, if I get B instead of A, then what will happen? So here it is not either ending with A B or a B A. So we have to think what is requirement. So B is already there. There is a requirement of A so that the straight uh, that string will be ending with B A. Means we have to move to such a state which is responsible to generate A and ending with B A. So that state is nothing but Q3. Q3 is generating A. Also it is reaching to Q4 state which is ending with B A. Means with the symbol B we have to move towards the Q3 from Q2. Now Q2 done with A and B both. Same way we have to think for a Q4 as well. So let's come how we are coming to Q4 by considering the BA. Again try to uh, take consider a minimum possible string here. So BA is a minimum possible string. Now at a Q4 if I get A then what will happen? AA is not an ending that is what we required. So after A whatever the required is nothing but only B. Now we have to find out such a state which is generating B and it is ending with AB and it will reach to the state which is ending with AB. That is nothing but Q2. So for, for Q2 who is generating B? Q1. Means here we need to move towards Q1 after generating A at a Q4. Again we have to assume for the another parameter that is nothing but a B parameter for a Q4. So again read the same way how we are coming to Q4 by, reki, by reading BA and after that we have to see what will happen if instead of A we are getting B? What will happen? Just check over here. Now my string is ending with AB directly. Right. So if I consider B A and after that Q4 is getting B. Then it is directly ending with AB. So here we need to move for a B. That will uh, state responsible for ending with AB. We have to move towards that state. So now here we have checked every possibilities of every state. Now uh, we, we need to complete our definition first. So whatever the set of finite states uh, we have to write. So from initial state Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. This much are the states in my DFA. Then input symbols. Two input symbols are there A and B. Actually it is written 0, 1 here by mistake but it should be A and B. Alphabetic input symbols we have. Then transition function we are going to process uh, very soon. Then Q0 is my initial state which belongs to Q. And there are the two final state now. So I will say that I must say Q2 and Q4 are my final state which is the subset of Q. Two final states are there. That's why I am using it as a subset. Then uh, we have to draw the transition table for the same. So now here we have a diagram ready. The same diagram is there. So just need to build a transition table where uh, Q0, Q1, Q2 number of states we have to mention row wise and A and B are the columns which are our input symbols. Then Q0 with A we are at a uh, Q1, Q0 with B, we are at a Q3, Q1 with A, same Q1, Q1 with B towards Q2, Q2 with A towards Q4, Q2 with uh, B towards Q3, then Q3 with A towards Q4, Q3 with B, it's towards Q3, then Q4 with A towards Q1 and Q4 with B towards Q2. So this is what uh, the transition table is completed. Diagram is also completed. Definition is completed. What remains is transition function. We have to process any string. So assume it, uh, one string that is nothing but uh, either we can assume it for a string ending with BA or B, uh, BA or AB. So this is what the string I have assumed and let's start processing string by using the transition function. So we'll start with the delta. My initial state by default it remains a Q0. Then I will take my first symbol Q0 with A. Where we are moving? We are moving towards Q1. Now Q1 will becomes my next state and uh, we have to take the next input symbol A. So Q1 with A we remains in Q1 itself as a self loop is there. Then Q1 with B where we are moving the next symbol is B. We are moving towards Q2. We are reaching to final state but string, uh, still my uh, string is not ended. So I need to process the further thing is also. So Q2 will be the next state. I have to take this A and uh, Q2 with A we are moving to Q4 and we will come to know that we are reaching to final state. Also my string is ending with BA. So it is supposed that uh, we should reach to the final state. 
which is responsible for ending with B and we are reaching to the same Q4 state, right? So the string is get processed correctly and here uh, we have constructed the DFA with the proper execution of a string assuming uh, and by doing uh, executing it with the transition function delta. So some exercise examples are given related to the same problem statement. Here we have to design a string over the alphabet containing either the substring A or BB. So for end state, no need to check for A and B output. Directly you can make a self loop over there because after the substring, anything is accepted. And the second statement is for neither statements. So simply you have to do the negation of uh, DFA here. You need to just find out the negate statement means whatever the final states are there in question number one, that becomes the non-final in question number two. And whatever the final states are there in uh, non-final states are there in question one, that becomes the final in question two. So the negation example also we have considered in our last video. So the same you have to apply over here. So this is the exercise example you can try on your side. So uh, we'll have the next session with the more example on DFA. Keep watching. Thank you.